I just noticed since I was 38, 39 that my body wasn't reacting to the workout. I hired a personal trainer for four months, changed my eating habits, and I didn't get any results. I'm going to have liposuction in my thighs and in my hips, and then I'll have the tummy tuck. And I hope that when it's all over, when I've healed, that I'll be able to go places and not be self-conscious. Rebecca and I live in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is literally it's it's a town with communities all around it. I mean there's the casino industry, yes, and a lot of people thrive on it. We have everything that every other community has, and it's um, a great place to live. I have two sons. My oldest son, he's 22, and his name is Robert. And my youngest son, his name is Levi, and he's 19 years old. My son Levi and I live together in our home. He is in college right now, and I'm really proud of him for the decisions he has made. What time do you get out of class? Uh, about 9. No, I start at 9.40, I get out at 11.20. Do you think you can go by the market for me when you get done? Yeah. Rebecca is my mother. Um, she's actually more than that. She's my mother, my father, and my friend. I talk to her all the time about all sorts of things, but she's always been there for me. I love you. My boys grew up in a household without a father. Um, I've been raising them since my oldest son was almost four, and my youngest barely turned a year old. The best thing about being a mom was being able to raise boys and having that love come back and giving them the opportunity to become self-sufficient. The problem that I have with myself is I turned 40 this past year and I just noticed since I was 38, 39 that my body wasn't reacting to the workout that it used to. It used to be I'd get pretty thin, but in the last couple years, it's just not doing anything. When I look in the mirror, I see um, aging. I see myself getting older. The loose skin, it's horrible. It wasn't, a, it wasn't even like this five years ago. And the stretch marks, I mean, having babies just totally destroyed my stomach. So I want that gone, that bothers me. The problem with my hips and my thighs is that that's where the bulk of weight has settled. And I've always had what I call the lumps and bumps, but they just weren't so prevalent as they are today. I hired a personal trainer for four months, changed my eating habits, and I didn't get any results. And that's why I've opted to have the surgery. I'm anticipating that after surgery, I'll be able to wear the cute little bathing suits that have some class and style. Rebecca, look at this one. Let this me is see the that. new tan. Oh, the solar, the solar suit. Is that what they're called? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's like being naked. <laughs> Rebecca has told me that the things that bother her are her hips and her stretch marks and her tummy area. I think the surgery is going to be fantastic for Rebecca. It's going to give her a lot of self-confidence. You know, Sandra, I can't wait till the surgery's done. I'll be able to wear all kinds of things. I mean, look at these bathing suits. I couldn't wear these now. I wouldn't go out in public like this. The reason I want surgery is to regain confidence and start my life. I've decided now is the time to enjoy the next 10 or 20 years of my life because I'm still young enough to, to really do that, and I'm coming into my best years. As soon as the surgery's done, we'll have to come back. Give me a few weeks, and I'll be in here doing everything. Thank you. I own and operate my own construction company. And in the beginning years, I would get in the trench with my men and show them how I wanted a trench to look. And over the years, as 
I've been able to make the company prosper and grow. Now, today, almost eight years later, I do all the marketing and I drive my truck around and check out my jobs, and so I don't necessarily go out in the trench anymore. How many yards did you calculate to put in over here for this stretch that we've got here? $3,400 worth just for this section. <laughs> She's knowledgeable about every facet of construction. Everyone that deals with her, they just, uh, they just feel that she's honest. She's not like the typical contractor. You know, whatever she says, she does. Here's your check. Payday, 81000 I thought you'd be happy. Woohoo! I know, these are copies for um, Maria. By having this surgery, it does put a bit of a draw on my company. Um, thankfully, John is there, and he's completely aware of everything that I'm doing and, and supports it. Okay, what do you got for me? Okay, um, I just want her to have a copy of that. It's the insurance cert for okay. my truck. Every decision that Rebecca makes, including this one about her surgery, this is about her and how she feels. And if she's comfortable with it, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye. Bye. My sons, my grandchildren, my sisters, and some very close friends of mine are here tonight. They're very supportive of my decision, and I'm just thankful that they've decided to come out and spend some time with me. Come see Grandma. How cute. When I look back at my life and I remember the daily moments that was so difficult to get through alone, and I'm raising two little kids, and I look at the fact that I raised them and they're good guys, and now I have grandchildren, and I want to take every bit of advantage of being young and healthy and vital while I have it. And the surgery is just going to be the added bonus to feeling that way and just moving on with life. Good luck on your upcoming surgery. We'll be thinking about you, rooting for you, and a little jealous because you're going to be gorgeous, if that's possible, after this, more so than you are now. So here's to Rebecca. Here's to Rebecca. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you.